everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are continuing our work here in the old uh, opening story arc, a side series from the main series, by taking on jobs up here at Blackbrush Station in order to make a name as an adventure. Our next job is going to be coming from Zuzumita who's going to be sending us way down in the hole. Zuzumita wishes to share with you a most amazing rumor. Ah, the altruistic adventure. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Why? Because the most fascinating piece of news recently reached my ears, and I am eager to share it. May I? Rumor has it that there is a vast, untapped vein of ore beneath the ruins of Sildit. But that is not all. And inconceivably, the concern appears to be entirely ignorant of its existence. And even as we speak, a young upstart, a self-made merchant from Stone's Throw of all places, is moving to claim it. The fellow's name is Whiston, and he is a very, very ambitious young man. Not only does he intend to secure exclusive excavation rights, but they say his master plan is to use his new fortune to curry favor with the Sacrarium. Of course, the Thaumaturges only consider the opinions of the most wealthy when drafting the laws of Ulda. Well, if you would have your voice heard, you must be prepared to pay a Sultan's ransom. One voice which is invariably heard belongs to Lord Lolorito. He has long lavished skill upon the Thaumaturges, and some claim that he, has devised, uh, he devises new laws with the express intention of ruining his competitors while protecting his own interests. Ah, so typical capitalist corruption then. Very standard. Suffice it to say, if Weissen thinks he can compete with the likes of the Syndicate, he's in for a rude awakening. But that eventuality may yet be a little way off. For the present, he is moving ahead with his plans and assembling a team to survey the site. I'm told he's at the Coffer and Coffin right now, recruiting able-bodied adventurers to escort his prospectors. Warren said you were looking for work. Mayhap you should meet Weissen and volunteer for his expedition. All right then. This is an interesting venture indeed. Someone seeking to become a major, com a major new competitor in Ulda's markets, especially with the ore trade, especially with they said it was silver ore that was found. I would definitely like to get a piece of that, at least so I can get some money. Because, uh, again, Satora's main motivation at this point is getting money for her family because they're not doing great. Come to join? Sorry, but you're too late. Some brass blades looking for extra coin volunteered and the team's already en route to the ruins. But look, I know it's not easy to find work these days. If you're interested, there's something else you can do for me. There are these children outside, little ones from Stone's Throw. I look after them when I have time to spare, and so they've taken to following me around even when I tell them not to. But what with overseeing the search for the vein, I barely have a chance to visit the privy at the moment, much less entertain younglings. Can you give them these ginger cookies and convince them to go home for me? So if I remember correctly, Stone's Throw should be... Yeah, Stone's Throw is a refugee camp outside of Old Dog. So, not only is he seeking to become a new... A, a new major merchant in Old Da. He is specifically a refugee trying to make it big in Old Da. That is going to be interestingly difficult. Alright, hello children. Your friend is more than happy to help, but he's so busy right now. I ain't going nowhere, missus. I'm too hungry to move. Besides, so you'll have to carry me. Well, I can fix that problem right up. A cookie? Well, if Weissen really wants me to go home, then alright. But I want two next time. How about you two? Weissen's kind to us. I like him. And he's so kind, he's giving you a cookie if you'll go home. This is for me. I want to eat it, but then again, I don't because then I'd be gone. Tell Weissen thanks and tell him I'm sorry for getting in the way. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not exactly at all what was happening. It's not that he doesn't want to help you. It's that he's busy. But Weissen always plays with us. Why won't he come out and play? Because he's very busy with adult things, which he's hoping will help out. So he sent me with cookies for you instead. Wow, a ginger cookie. I'd better save some for my brother. I know, I'll go home and eat it with him. Good kid. Very good kid. And finally, you. I like playing with Weissen. He makes sure no one bullies us. And he's also giving you cookies to go home. Weissen's worried about us. Oh, I don't want to make him worried. I'm a good girl, so I'll go home. All right, Weissen, all the kids have gone home safely. Thank you, Adventure. I only wish I could do more. Stone's Throw is no place for a child. Not that my childhood was much happier. Never enough food to go around, nor work to earn it. But no shortage of contempt from the great and the good. 
I remember thinking things could only get better, yet now, after the calamity and everything else, for us refugees to be forced to live outside the gates like bloody beastmen is a disgrace. They say with enough money you can change the laws here, so I'm going to make a fortune and do just that. I'll buy the excavation rights and start my own mining business. Then I'll give my fellow refugees the work they're crying out for and pay them fairly. I like you! I want to support you! I hope you succeed! The mining companies have profited from our suffering for too long, but in their hubris they've grown complacent, presenting us with a golden opportunity. And we will take it, Adventure. We will reclaim our dignity and with it our place in those walls. We found her! We found the vein! Weissen, you must come and see! Already? Amazing! We leave at once! You should join me, my friend. Come and bear witness to history in the making. Oh, this is really exciting. Oh, this is really exciting. I'm so happy for you, Weissen. You are going to do great. You are going to do good. You are going to help the refugees who desperately need it and do not deserve the horrible treatment they get around here. I have not made it very secret of my opinions of Old Daw. And it is going to continue to be like that. But let's go check out this vein that's been dis- Oh crap. That's a duty. That's a duty. Of course it's a duty. Alright, well, let's eat some marmot steak and get ready. This sucks. Weissen? What happened? Falls ball, son. A vein of ore in the middle of a ruined bloody city? Goddamned idiot. What did you think was going to happen? That you'd strike it rich and get cozy with the order while the masses of old dog looked on? No one crosses the syndicate. The, the syndicate? Ha! Huh, finally sunk in, has it? Well, look at this. Not all your friends have deserted you, it seems. Lucky boy, now you won't have to die alone. O oh, mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stone a soul that it may wake to life. Who's spouting gibberish? Show yourself! The same part of the plan! Bloody hells, does Lord Lolorita mean to kill, kill us too? I believe we got Lolorito's uh, triple triad card in the main Let's Play a while ago, and I had uh, strong opinions about him, we'll say. Uh, yeah, do you see why I have strong fucking opinions about him? So yeah, the government of Ulda is trying to stop refugees from making money so they can stop being refugees and actually be able to pay in order to, like, live in the city. They're... It is such a fucking corrupt and evil city. I despise Ulda. It is the worst. And Lolorito is one of the fucking worst. I hate this city. Thankfully, the clay golem isn't too bad, as usual. That the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventure. Damn, seems I've missed all the fun. I see you didn't need my help this time. Compose a ballad in your honor, but I fear no words would do you justice. The songstress of Uldah herself cannot rival your beauty. Oh, stop it. I have oft heard it said that a blossom's beauty can move a man to love and long, but I have never truly believed it until I met you two desert roses.
I hear they attacked another caravan. Ah, and business is suffering for it. Bloody Amalja, what stirred him up, do you reckon? Another raid, and I'll wager that caravan was carrying crystals much like the last. If they truly mean to summon a primal, we must act quickly. Are you coming, love? You wouldn't keep a girl waiting, would you? Perish the thought. So tell me, where in this marvel of a city might you lovely ladies be staying? At this rate, grain will soon be more precious than gold. A result of the uncommonly bad harvest, to be sure. And we have you to thank for them, do we not? Aye, this weakening of the etheric flow must surely be linked to Dalamud's descent. And, of course, the primals. A fine mess, but we must not lose hope. Louis Swa will know what to do. We need only trust in his judgment. Truly a marvel of Charlian ingenuity. It's as if I could reach out and touch the ether. Time to focus. No more gallivanting about like before. The Scions are counting on you. Have faith. Just have faith. You can do this. Hmm. This disturbance is recent. The Sultan Tree? Maybe Papa Sean will know something of it. Looks like they gave you quite a thrashing. Can you walk? It's me. I was too late. Our person of interest had already quit the scene. The general? Very well. I shall be there soon. My colleagues went to great lengths to provide me with the means to detect etheric disturbances, but every time I find one, you seem to be in the middle of it. I'm starting to wonder if it might not be simpler to just to follow you around. Sadly, I have business elsewhere. Tread softly, my friend. The carefully laid trap you dismantled was clearly sanctioned by Lord Lolorito. I heard the blades mention him as they fled. Believe me when I tell you that he is not a man to be trifled with. The Sultana's enemies grow bolder by the day, and I suspect they have the support of outside forces. Thank you. If you hadn't come along, those bastards would surely have slaughtered us all. I would speak with you further, but it isn't safe for us to linger here. Find me at the coffer and coffin later. Until then, stay safe. I shall accompany Weissin and his men. They need your uh, they need protection, and I need more information. Ah, but where are my manners? I have yet to properly introduce myself. I am Thancred, a humble scholar surveying the flow of ether in Thanalan. It is an honor and a privilege to make your acquaintance. I hope when next we meet, it is under more auspicious circumstances. Farewell. Ah, wait a moment. It occurs to me that we may have... Never mind. Fare thee well. All right then, let's get back to Weiston. Check in to make sure he made it back safely. 
Hello there, Weissen. I see you made it back safe and sound. I'm so, so sorry that the ore vein turned out to be a really bad trap. That was awful. Twelve, bless you, my friend. You risked your life to save ours. Betrayed by my own guards. Gods, I was a fool to trust those men. Lolorito owns the gods' damn brass blades. I should have questioned their motives from the start. Even so, I could hardly have predicted that the wealthiest man in Ulda would want me dead for the heinous crime of seeking to change the law. I'm just a merchant, for God's sakes. That ruthless bastard. And what of, the mon what of that monstrosity? Those were his own men. It beggars belief. Well, that's it. I'm finished. If I stay in Ulda any longer, I'm as good as dead. My associates, my friends, gods, even the children may, may not be safe if I don't disappear. And you. God damn it, if Lola Rita learns of your involvement, you'll be next. I'll speak with the others and make sure your part in this stays secret. Beyond that, I don't know what to suggest. May maybe you should seek the counsel of Mistress Momodi. She's helped countless adventures in her time. Maybe mayhaps she'll know what to do. Go quickly now, my friend. Lola Rita's spies may be watching. I've mentioned that I hate old Da, right? I'm never gonna stop mentioning it. You can just expect it to keep happening. This city is rotten to the goddamn core. Like, Redania's got its major racism issues, for sure. And it's being more than willing to let innocent people die just because of a, t a couple of temperamental elementals threatening to Thanos snap everyone. It's only a Thanos snap. I understand why. It still fucking sucks. Uh, and then Limsa Lominsa has its own issues with piracy, kidnapping the slave trade, specifically kidnapping Makote to become sex slaves, which is horrific. Yeah, Eorzea is not doing well. Eorzea is kind of a fucked up country. <laughs> it's, not, it's not doing well. And then Limsa also has the issue of outright betraying its own treaties with the kobolds, making the kobolds lash out in retaliation and self-defense. And then there's the issues with the Sahagin that we'll get into eventually, where the Sahagin aren't even fully in the wrong. I mean, they're definitely more aggressive in, in a bad way than the Kobold, but... Oh, God, the politics of Eorzea are a goddamn mess. Hi, Mamoni, my life's in danger. Settle down, Satara. You've got nothing to worry about. No one seems to know you're at the ruins. Wyson, on the other hand, is now a pariah, about as welcome around here as a rabid wolf, poor bugger. Suffice to say, that boy risks the wrath of the wrong man. Lord Lotharito, chairman to the East Aldenar Trading Company, generous contributor to the Order of Naldthal, and member of the Syndicate. Didn't get where he is by leaving loose ends, that one. Which is why he ain't above killing his own men. Hells, even if those blades knew what was coming, it's not like they could refuse to do their benefactor's bidding. <sighs> Don't let this color your view of old Da Satora. Oh, I'm letting it color my view of Vulda. Don't worry, I'm letting it. It's true that there are some who ain't afraid to crack a few skulls if it gets them what they want. But most of us are decent folk just trying to make ends meet. Sure, but your government sucks and the entire culture of fucking capitalism here is rotten. You know, a lot of people would call you a damn fool for risking your life to save a marked man. But I believe you did a good thing, Stor, and for that you have my respect. Listen, you've been through a lot lately. Why don't you rest a spell? I'll have the boys at the hourglass set you up with a room, my treat. I just have a word with Otopa Potopa whenever you feel like staying. And when you've got your appetite for adventure and back, ta consider taking on a guild leave or two. We've got a lot of requests from locals looking to hire adventurers for various jobs. It'd be a good way to, for you to earn yourself some extra gil. Eustace can tell you more about how the system works, so go and speak with him if you're interested. And that completes way down in the hole, where we almost ended up. Alright then, with that, I think Satora here is gonna go take a well-deserved nap because her life might be in- It's probably not in danger, Mamodi says no one knows about our involvement, but still. She's gonna go take a nap, and next time on Final Fantasy XIV's Wulda opening arc, we're going to take care of about half of the side quests that are exclusive to players who started in Ulda. I'll see everyone next time for that.